Serious. Morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It is. Losing days, losing, losing track. But this morning was one of these for some breakfast, um, and actually quite quite nice. I think we might have a new contender for what we should do for breakfast in the mornings. Not as many of these places around where we're going to. Kevin, you okay? Achy. But quite achy this morning. And Peter, top of the world. <laughs> yeah, no, I lie, I ache. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning we are heading kind of to the side of Bristol. Uh, we're going to go to the docks area of Bristol and uh, work our way through that. So we've got to get to the M5, back to the M5, and it's pretty flat, all across the flats from Glastonbury uh, out of that space. And we're going to work, then work our way to the, the Seven Crossing. And so in all, we should have done about 50-odd miles by the time we get there at lunchtime. And that leaves us the rest of the time uh, this afternoon to do the remaining part, which is to get through to Y Valley in Wales. Uh, we'll go through Y Valley to Monmouth, and then from Monmouth across to up to Hereford. So it's quite a long day, but it's a, it should be a good day. Bit of a breeze this morning, um, as you can probably see. It's it's kind of light cloud. Um, well, light to thick cloud. There's bits of blue sky peeking out every now and again. A um, little bit of a breeze, as I say, after the, after the rain that we had yesterday. Everything's dried up, and uh, we've managed to get all of our stuff dry, ready for today. So let's see how it goes. I'll uh, catch you on the road. See ya. Here we go. We're leaving Glastonbury. The sun's come out. Very nice. It's just so noisy being here. We don't be here for very long. Let's start for a quick snack uh, en route, but uh, we've done over a third of the distance for the day. So a little bit further, and we'll hit the halfway mark. Anyway, I'll sign off for now. See ya. <laughs> that is the wrong way around the roundabout. <laughs> Got that on video. <laughs> yeah.
Anyway, we're going to go over a bridge, which is with the M5. Towards our right, we've got Bristol, and that's the river. About fed up the river, though. We've got the Clifton to Spenton Bridge, but you can't see it from here. That's a very tall bridge. There's Kevin, and there's the M25 on our left hand side. And you can see through the gate, Reddings there um, is a port on the far side, kind of in that direction, is the uh, crossing we'll be going over across the wells. South Gloucestershire. and cat. So, second opinion. Yep. I'll, I won't influence you with mine. We go for that one. Or that one. It is the same length. I think it's the same size. Look with the, the thread. Yeah, it's this one here. It's exactly the same. Yep. So, we need to hold that level for us. Because it's unlikely to be one piece on the beat. So we need to go in that gap there. Straight in. We need to fiddle it into. It's right around here, isn't it? Yeah. Pull it back down, it pulls behind the bead. Right? So that should, um, Once you inflate it, it'll sort itself out in there. I think I need to buy you a cup of tea or something. No, don't worry, I'm sure we'll bump into each other across the. Probably see you on the journey. Yeah. Shout us out. Right, let's pop that over there. Everybody, that's Peter in the background, trying to run away, trying to get out of camera. <laughs> Going for a wee stop. All that information, anyway, we've just stopped. Um, I've finished stopping. You'll see there's a guy in the, his bike in the background. And that guy right there we've just is the guy who's been helping. And I've, I've got a bit of GoPro video of that happening. Uh, he is traveling with his son, who's driving behind. Isn't that good, eh? Uh, so we just helped them fix a broken spoke. Otherwise, they would have been going for, looking for a bike stop and trying to get on their way. They happen to be cycling Lands and to John O'Gross as well, and they're going to Hereford again, the same as us as tonight. To a different place to stop though, so we've just helped them out, and then they're on their way. Uh, so this is the service station that is just before the seven crossing. And it's not the, not the M4 crossing, it's the other crossing. So we've stopped at that one. And the next stop for us is to go across that bridge and into Wales. So another country, another day. Uh, we'll, we shall 
do some more video perhaps uh, with the GoPro for sure uh, as we go across that bridge. And uh, once we get there, we're going to go down the Y, the y Valley, as I mentioned uh, on the earlier uh, clip of the video. Um, catch you a bit later.
everybody, just t touching in, um, just to let you know how we're getting on, we're not that far from Hereford. We've been through the Wye Valley and through Monmouth, and uh, we've got about eight miles to go, is it, Peter? Eight miles to go, and we've just been flagged down by some other people who are doing lands at the John O'Groats. In fact, we've seen loads today doing lands at John O'Groats, and they suggested that we stop here because on the other side of the road, there's post office and stores. You can see there's a sign on the other side. And it says John O'Groats uh, is that direction. They reckon 629, and its Land's End was 234. But we've cycled more than 234, and we've got more than 629 to go. Go figure. Must be as the, as the crow flies. So how you doing, Peter? Doing fine actually. Ready for a beer now. Ready for a beer. Yeah, yeah. 76 miles in. Yep. It's enough, enough calories burned to afford a After beer. After 76 I miles, and we reckon we're doing about 83, 84. Yeah, I've got eight to go, so yeah, 80, 84 miles will be 80, out. 84 right? miles by the time we finish the day. So, going pretty well. Nice view from here. You can see from the other back. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, we've just been uh, caught up with uh, Holly and with Catherine, and they've just topped us up with some drinks, give us a few snacks just to get us the last few miles, and then we'll be there. See you later. Bye now. See ya.